What's up guys, it is a T-Ball and I am back with another video. So today we're gonna to be going over the Warriors potential future star center. So before I start, if you wanna see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated. All my newest video will be coming out. So the Golden State Warriors are back at it again this season with their four all-stars, but this time they've added DeMarcus Cousins to help them in their search for a three-peat. However, with Cousins recovering from his Achilles injury, they're going to need a combination of centers to all fill in until Boogie returns. Golden State has quite a few options, but it looks like they may decide to start Damian Jones over Jordan Bell and Kevon Looney at the starting five spot. Jones got the start against the Kings yesterday and he played pretty well. He scored seven points, grabbed seven rebounds, had one assist and two blocks in only 15 minutes of playing time. He also had a plus minus of plus 24, but granted, the Warriors were playing the Kings and Jones was playing with the Warriors starters. That included KD and Thompson all getting hot. I think Jones will likely be the starting center for Golden State until Cousins comes back, and I think he has a chance to become a very good player in the future as well. So let's go over who Damian Jones is, his game, and his potential for the Warriors. So Damian Jones is a 7-foot center who was selected with the 30th overall pick in the 2016 NBA draft by the Golden State Warriors, and he has barely seen any playing time with Golden State over his first two seasons in the league. He has played in only 25 total NBA games, and in those games he averaged only 7 minutes per game and most of those minutes were in garbage time. But he has also played a lot for the Santa Cruz Warriors, and he impressed there. He averaged 15 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, 2.2 blocks, and 0.6 steals in 30.6 minutes per game last season in the G League. He also shot an impressive 67.8% from the field, though most of his shot attempts came at the rim. With a lot of reps in the G League over the past two seasons, it seems like Jones is finally ready to contribute at the NBA level, and the Warriors are going to need his help to keep them afloat at the 5 until Cousins comes back. So, what can Jones provide for the Warriors? Well, he has great size at the center position, being 7 feet tall, which is bigger than both Bell and Looney, who are both listed at 6'8". Jones is very athletic and has proven to be able to finish well at the rim, in the G League and so far in the preseason as well. He'll play a JaVale McGee-like role for Golden State, as he'll see most of his points on alley-oops, putbacks, and in transition. Also, Jones has been working on his jump shot and has developed a decent elbow jumper, but teams will still likely to dare him to shoot given his lack of track record on being a threat from outside. But even if Jones won't be a big perimeter threat, he could help free up other shooters out at the perimeter like Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Kevin Durant for open threes by using his large frame to set good picks. Not to mention, he'll also help Golden State on the boards as well, as he's a pretty solid rebounder for a center. I wouldn't expect him to put up huge numbers, but if he could get a couple dunks a game, set good screens, and compete on the boards, that would be very helpful for the Warriors. However, I do think Jones can have a big impact on defense. He has a great combination of size, athleticism, and length to contest shots at the rim, and as we saw in the G League, he could rack up quite a few blocks. But also keep in mind the stats don't account for the other shot attempts he altered, or drive attempts he deterred. Jones can be a great rim protector for the Warriors like McGee was, but he needs to improve on fouling as in the preseason so far, he's averaged 2.5 fouls in only 13.5 minutes per game. But overall, it looks like Jones will be the starting center for the Warriors until DeMarcus Cousins comes back. But the pressure won't be all on him at the 5, as a combination of him, Jordan Bell, and Kevon Looney will all work together to fill in, giving meaning to Golden State's model of strength in numbers. I think Jones can potentially be a poor man's Clint Capella for the Warriors in the future, depending on how he develops, but we'll see as time goes on. So we'll take it one step at a time and see how he'll play in the first season he'll be getting real minutes, and hopefully, he'll thrive next season for the Warriors. So that's a wrap, thanks guys for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my newest video will be coming out. Also follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball, business or any video ideas you want me to do, let me know as I do try to back to all you guys there. Drop a comment down below on what you think Damian Jones' potential is, let me know as I do read all comments and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys here as well. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.